In life, you can build so many things. You can build a website, you can build a PC, you could build a bot, you could build a bear. But what if you had a desire to build a death run? And I'm not talking about going into creative and making a death run. That's the old boring way to do it. What if there was a death run out there that you actually had to build on in order to complete? A death run where you had to build your way to a victory royale in creative. If you've ever had this desire or you just think it sounds cool, Sorlings has you covered with the build a death run. We've played some of Sorlings maps before. He's an amazing map creator. I'll be sure to leave his stuff in the description down below. And I'll tell you what, I've already succeeded in the build a bot you guys call me a bot every day and to be honest with you you're mostly right but anyways i'm too excited to play this map so without further ado let's build a death run hello i will be your guide today listen to what i say on every level before you go and have fun so at the beginning of every level we're gonna follow the instructions of our uh, pudgy blue knight friend level one don't cheat on the levels unless it's impossible for you well we're pretty cracked at death runs so hopefully we don't have to cheat level one Put a floor down, make a full block jump, and put down the other floor. Okay, so place down a floor, and then we're going to make a full block jump. And I guess right before we're about to land in the traps, we place the next one, and then we make another full block jump to level two. That right there is creative. So as you can see, you actually have to build the platforms that you have to land on. And if you don't place them, then you're going to die. It's literally building your very own death run within a death run that's already built. This is actually really sick. I love the creative idea of this. The level two pudgy blue knight says, for this part, you have to do Neos while putting down a floor. And I voice cracked. Okay. So when he said cheat, we obviously could just build straight across. We've got three builds, but that would be cheating and lame. I'm gonna go ahead and place a floor there. And we're gonna do a Neo, jump around. And right before we're about to die, cheese. That honestly, that really does feel like I'm gonna die right there. Level three, put a floor down, make a full block jump, then edit your way up. We could place a floor. You know what? I could place a ramp too. We could do a ramp. That's technically cheating though. I'm gonna go ahead and place a cone. Now, I guess this could also be cheating because we could edit our way up and being up higher like this would make that jump easier. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep it a regular cone and jump straight across. Edit the cone up, jump on top of the coffin. On to level four. Here, the pudgy blue knight with apparently no legs anymore <laughs> says build where there is an arrow. Simple as that. Oh, we got a speed modular pad. Okay, this is actually really cool. I'm gonna pull out my builds. So we're just gonna have to... Oh, wait, how fast is this gonna make us go? Oh, that's really fast. Okay. So we're gonna have to... Wait, where did my builds go? <laughs> Why'd they disappear? Oh, I think it's because I, I backpedaled onto the checkpoint. And that's, I think, why they went away. Okay, hold on my builds. Place that there. Place that there, place that there, and a ramp there. Dude, that is so freaking cool. On to level five, time for some editing. Edit your way through, zone is taking for every two seconds. I don't wanna brag or anything, but I have been doing my edit courses. <laughs> I'm no mongrel yet, but uh, the iconic skin along with my giant wiener here. <laughs> Let's see how good we actually are at these. Like I said, done a little bit of practice. So it's a two tick, so I'm guessing there's, there's just a, a damage barrier somewhere in here that's gonna do damage to us. How much does it do? Zone is taking for two damage every second. We've only got 50 health, so. Let's make it through here as quickly as possible. I'm assuming we just have to go straight forward. Oh, God. Okay, that was a cone at the very end. Yes! 38 HP left. Not bad. All right, this time we're actually given a bouncer. Walk onto the speed boost pad and put down a bounce pad on the wood. The speed pad's gonna send us up there. Oh, no, there's another piece of wood right down there. Okay, walk onto this. Place that right there. Dude, oh, God, we almost went over it. That was almost really bad. Level seven, edit your way up. Oh, I've, I've done a lot of these recently in uh, my edit courses. Oh God, it's stinky. Oh, it's stinky. Okay, good thing we're quick at those. We made it up fast. Just build lol. Do I have to tell you everything? Yeah, what, first of all, what happened to his body? Why does he get shorter with each level? And yes, I do have to follow all your instructions. That's what you told me to do at the beginning of the map, you sassy fat blue knight. Waterfall down, there is fall damage, so don't go down too far. We've only got 28 HP left. Okay. I feel like we weren't supposed to waterfall down that lane. Oh no, we actually took fall damage quick. Was there a damage barrier there? Why else would I have died? Waterfall down. We took, oh, there is. Look at the stinkies around me. Level eight, we got some impulses here, right? What did that sign say? I'm gonna have to go back. So I'm gonna lose all my stuff. Impulse to the arrows and put down a floor while in the air. We are in the progress, ladies and gentlemen, of building our way to a victory royale. This is the freaking coolest thing I've ever done in creative. I'm gonna need more wood though. Excuse me, sir, can you give me more wood? All I'm getting is more impulses. If I back up over to there, which is where I think I'm supposed to get the wood from, I'm gonna lose all my impulses. So I'm actually just gonna drop them here. 200 IQ play. And as the wood spawns, what timing? Okay, so we've only got two builds in total of that. I just got an impulse right up to there. 
Whoa, that was really close. Okay, we got to make sure we get more of an arc on this one. Nice. And then, yeah, I guess we just have to impulse up, right? Right to level nine. Edit your way down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. We've had a couple of stinky levels so far. I'm guessing this is going to be a stinky level too. So what I can do actually, a little 200 IQ play. I can edit all that from right there. Look at that. I knew it. I knew it was going to be stinky. Okay, quickly. Edit courses. They call me mongrel. Quick. No, I'm choking so bad. Quick, I'm going to die. No, 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 no. Through the door. Oh, that was it? I think we just literally completed that map in less than 10 minutes. GG, Sore Lynx. Unfortunately, we did die a couple of times in that map, but that was really creative. I honestly, Sore Lynx, if you see this video, I would want another version of that same map, but for it to be longer. Because that is such a cool idea, and there, I know you have more ideas and stuff that you can do. That could be such an intricately cool map. Don't get me wrong, this was amazing, but there's so much to be done with that. What an awesome idea, man. Great job. There's Sore Lynx's stuff. Like I said, I will be sure to have links in the description down below as well. Okay, and that map was so short, I'm gonna go ahead and do a two-for-one special. We're gonna play another creative map in this same video. Onward to part two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part two of this YouTube video. I think this is the first time I've ever played two maps in one video, so this is a special one. Today, we're going to be conquering different stages of Neos. Couple things to note. First off, I hate Neos. And second off, what the f Frickity frick heck does it mean to have different stages of Neos? I was always under the impression that there's only one type of Neo. So my guess is it's going to be the same type of Neo jump, just themed differently on each level. So let's check out level one. Looks like we just got basic left-sided Neos. Now there's some people who are really good with Neos. Shout out to my buddy, Justin, Acidic Blitz, that could actually just continuously momentum these. I think Kenny can do it too, where like they don't have to pause like I do, like an old man to make sure I'm still realigned to make the jump. Neos freak me out. And I know I said like, I don't like them, but I definitely feel like I need practice with them, even though I somehow managed to nail that very first try. Let's make this jump around. Okay. I was kind of worried there was going to be traps in the hall right there. Thank God they aren't there. What are the chances if I beat this entire map in my very first try, I swear to God, if this is also a really short map, I'm going to be so mad. I'm going to have to play three maps all in one video. The iconic skin and the wiener making leap after leap. Easy, dude. Level three. Let's freaking go. I was going to say, this one's got to get a little bit harder. We did left-handed, then right-handed. I figured there was going to be traps on the floor for this one. Okay, I definitely should not have died there. I will not lose my title of Master Trap Baiter. I am still the greatest trap baiter that has ever touched creative. I think I will actually have to go ahead and bait all these traps. I was trying to get away with not baiting them and seeing if I could just leave them untouched for each jump, but it makes my life a lot easier if I just bait them. Level four, dude, we're cruising through this. What? I don't even need help with Neos, dude. Okay, there's definitely going to be traps on the wall. I guarantee it. That is what has to make this level different. I didn't look and see the first time, but let's see. Yep. Okay, freaking called it. I don't think this will be an issue because I don't jump that far in when I do these Neo jumps. I remember the first time I ever encountered these. I think it was on Scissors Death Run 3. And I was actually stuck on the level. I think it was level 9 of Scissors Death Run 2 or 3. Or no, 3 or 4. And I actually couldn't complete the level. I did that one level. I think it took me an hour and a half, maybe even close to two hours. And I just ended up rage quitting. It was so hard for me. I'd never done Neos before. Okay, what the heck is this? Oh, wait, I just saw a glimpse of it. Of course, Hennis, it's a Neo Death Run. Neos with bouncers. Wow, this is actually sick. This is the first time I've ever done a level like this. These Neos are so much easier. Holy crap. All right, anybody who's been struggling with Neos, if you want to get to like Justin, acidic blitz level of Neos, dude, play this map. This is it. I haven't even looked at this level, but I know exactly what this is. These poles are going to stick farther and farther out and make these jumps even harder. I remember seeing this on Mew Selk's death run. And this just gave me a heart attack. Okay, thank God there's no traps on the floor. But of course there's traps on the walls. If I complete this in very first try, you guys have to drop a like on this video. Because these... These just... Okay, well, I already managed to frick it up. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if this takes me 27 years to beat. I suck! 2,000 years later. Oh. This is the farthest I've made it. I don't know how I just made that jump. There's no way I can redo what I just did. There's no way. Oh my god. One last jump. This is literally the last jump. This is I'm literally on the last jump. Leave it to Pro Hennis to mess up on the last jump. I swear to god, if I mess this up, I'm gonna. Oh, let's, oh there's another one on the wall. Holy crap. We actually did it. Let's go. Okay, please don't die right now. Alright. Bait these traps. I could bait these the cool way, which is where you just jump and jump and jump, but I'm going to beat it the old fashioned way because I don't want to risk dying. And I swear to God, if this leads me to some dead end where it's like, hey, go through the trap on the wall on the second trap. I'm going to make freaking lose it, dude. Please tell me this is the GG. Nice. Jump straight through to the coin. Let's go. Victory Royale, right? 
Let's go, baby. Wow, I needed way more practice with Neos than I thought. I got killed 43 times by traps. Really cool and creative map, though. Master shout out to Daily Fortnite. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. We got a little two for one special a build a death run and different stages of Neos combined into one video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like. And also, quick plug if you guys didn't know, you can use code Hannah's for 30% off everything on G Fuel's website from now until the 26th of December. So act fast. Be sure to turn notifications on if you want to see all my other content. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links are in the description down below. And guys, that's all. I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.